Hey Capricorn, thank you so much for tuning in with me for your message. Um, I actually started your reading, but notice I was on mute. So, um, I kept the cards out that I have so far. Not I didn't get that far once I realized. But, um, for those who are new to the channel, I am a psychic medium. Uh, so I do not use any cards or any tools when it comes to your personal readings or your live Q&A readings. You could definitely tune in with me, um, on Wednesdays and Saturdays to get a question answered. Uh, on Wednesdays it's between 7 and 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Saturdays between 1 and 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, please just take whatever resonates, leave whatever don't. Everything may not resonate with everyone because this is a general message. Again, if you want a personal message, if this do resonate with you and you want more details due to my vision, due to what I actually see for you, you can definitely get one with me. Um, it's a lot of information out there. If you want to find out how I read the truth, the proof, the accuracy, you could definitely look into reviews, past live videos here, Facebook, it go years back. Um, but yeah, all right, you guys, let's get into this message. We started, like I said, but yeah, I noticed the mute was on. <laughs> okay, so you have triggers, um, triggers, realization, and the hamster wheel with divine feminine at the bottom of the deck as well. So this could be me speaking to you, divine masculine, and something about your divine feminine, or you're the divine feminine I'm speaking to, and um, your divine masculine could be uh, coming out in this message too. So let me get into what I receive from this. So with the triggers, um, someone is triggered. They're realizing how much of a hustler you are. They're realizing like um, whatever they do to try to stop you, stop your flow, whatever you are doing or whatever, it's like you steady stay on a come up or you figure out a way around it or something like that. They like, dang. <laughs> so they trigger by you. They're triggered by your work ethic. That's what it is. They're triggered by how much of a hustler you are. Uh, whether you're divine feminine or divine masculine. You said, uh, you're not going to stop me. Or whatever it is, it's not going to stop me. Yeah, it may have been hard times. Yeah, it may have been a struggle. It's been hard. It's been um, a lot. But you didn't let that stop you. You said, okay, well, on to the next. And that's, that's what you're doing. Or that's what you did. That is what you did. Let's see more for Capricorn. Capricorn Spirit, please show us a message for Capricorn. 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 Let it come out. Capricorn. Capricorn. What else? Oh. Okay. Okay. Not the love spell here. <laughs> so not someone trying to do love spell on you to get you back. Okay, we got someone else. Someone is in the middle trying to sabotage this. So someone could be in the middle uh, or trying to get in the middle of a connection that you have. They're trying to sabotage it. So keep that in mind if you have moved on or, you know, you're about to move on. They could be trying to stop your progress because they know if you're not dealing with them, it's someone else that you're going to be dealing with. They could be trying to stop it before you get ahead. Or they know about this other person that you are dealing with. And they're trying to get in between that. Some way, somehow. And that could be through your pockets. That could be due to your stability. So you looking at it like, oh, they no, they don't have to come directly in between your relationship. They could be sending that energy your way. That energy could be trying to block your finances, stop your, your stability, make you come out of this divine energy. They want you to crumble. They're realizing that you're too strong. Ooh. Oh, okay. And they're realizing that the love spell is not really working. Or it's not working at all. They're trying to get you to communicate with them. So they could be uh, trying to love bomb you as well. Or, you know, try to butter you up. Try to befriend you. So you can give in to them. I wouldn't do it. Some of you, it could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, such as... Such a serious. For some of you, whoever this is, they could be a gold digger. Okay? They're a gold digger. Mm -hmm. Someone could be at a distance from you or they're trying to um, bring in that communication so you and them won't be so distant or something like that. Okay? 
Yeah. Some of you, it could be an earth sign. You an earth sign, so it could be another earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They could have fire in their chart. Um, let's get more on this energy spirit. Let's get triggers. Let's get more on triggers. Whoa. Some of you could be a Leo, but they're triggered because they don't want you to be happy. They want you, they don't want you to be happy. Okay. We got the sun in reverse, the queen of pentacles in reverse. Like I said, they want you, they want to cause some type of instability for you. They don't want you to be in a queen of pentacles in the upright. They want you to be unhappy, miserable, um, sad without them, uh, needy, uh, you know, codependent. They want you to to um, be out here begging or something. So this is definitely giving an X. Show us a message on th uh, <clears throat> on things. What? Uh, show us a message on triggers for Capricorn spirit triggers. They triggered by. They hear your name. Oh. It does something to them. They see your car ride by. Any car that look like yours. It could just be the color. Don't even have to be, <laughs> be the actual car. It could just be the color of that of Capricorn. All up in their mind. You 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 taking over their mind. Places that y'all have been together, this person is and they're thinking about you, Capricorn. Show us more on triggers. Triggers for Capricorn. Queen of Cups. So, yeah, they, they're triggered because of your loving ways, how genuine you were with them when it came to love. Like, when they think whatever the issue was between you and this person, some of you could have been dealing with a cancer, but whatever the issue was between you and this person... It's like they're overlooking that now because the love that you share with them, they had with none other. So they're realizing like your love was so unconditional. It was so nurturing. It was so real. And they're not getting that or they don't see themselves getting this with no one else. So they're like, dang, all the issues. I'd rather have that real genuine love. The reason why this person had issues with me because I made this person have. So something is triggering them to realize. Oh, I was the problem. Let me see more. <laughs> Show us more on realization. Realization, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So either uh, this is the, the, the fire sign that was mentioned, or they could have fire placements, or they could be in this energy. They could have been very much in their ego. But that ego is, is being dropped because that awareness is coming through. Like, oh, wait, oh, I, I was the problem. Let me get one more on the King of Wands. And the King of Wands is facing this Queen of Cups. You could be in this energy of the Queen of Cups, whether you're masculine, male, female, um, or you could just be in your feminine energy if you're male. Uh, you could just be balanced, well-balanced, especially if you're divine. Um, but someone could just be very nurturing, very kind, loving, and you're focused on, you know, you focus, you, you're looking ahead. This King of Wands is looking at you. Your back is turned towards this King of Wands. So whoever this King of Wands is, they're realizing something like, dang, that person really was sweet. They were really kind. They were really loving. Yeah, they may have tripped on me or said this or did that, but they did that because I did that. Or they said that because, like, something like that. Show us more. Or you could be triggered by this person because of what they did or how they treated you. And you, this person is realizing why you're triggered by them. That's what I'm getting, really. Show us more on the King of Wands. King of Wands. Clarify with the Five of Pentacles in reverse. This person want to come out of the cold with you. They they don't like this distance. They don't like this distance. They they don't like this. So even if you say for instance you talk to this person, you do communicate, uh, it's not like usual or like the communication is off. Um, 
or they see you pulling away, they see you distancing yourself or you're not, you know, uh, elaborating or you're not, you, you're not having those full sentences or conversations with them anymore. Um, it's just quick, quick and sweet or, you know, it's just straight to the point. Or you just, like I said, got your back towards them and they don't, they don't like this. Show us more on this, um, Daily Hustle. Daily Hustle for Capricorn. Daily Hustle. Yeah, get that money, Cap. Look at this. King of Pentacles. This is you. You the hustler. That's what I was picking up. Like, you the hustler. Like, you said, I'm going to get it however I got to get it. So, this person could have been trying to interfere with your money. Trying to get you all messed up in the head. Keep you focused on them. So, you could lower your standards. So, they could feel above you or something like that. Or so, you can... um. Yeah, like it's it's like a, 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 a it's giving me uh like the chaser and the runner, the cat and the mouse game. Like they want you to chase them though. They want you to need them. So let me lower them because because they they too too much on their high horse. Let me let me lower their standard or let me make them let me make them lower than what they think they are or let me mess with their money. But it don't work because you're a hustler. So if, if say, for instance, this person did have some type of leeway on a financial opportunity, they got in the way of, of money with you, some some something, okay? Maybe some type of exchange between you and them. They didn't give it to you, and you really needed it. But you say, you know what? All right, F that. I'm about to figure, you didn't tell this person, though. You're like, okay, whatever. I'm about to, you telling yourself, I'm about to go ahead and figure this out another way, do this or do that. Or, if it wasn't directly between you and this person, this person could have, like I said, people can send energy. Yeah. When they're wishing bad on you, or they could be doing any type of spell work, any type of, we do have love spell here, so they definitely do some type of spell work, but... They could have been um, diving into some stuff to try to, you know, get you off focus with your finances uh, or to make you lose some finances. But if that did happen, if you lost a job or your money decreased or you start having bills up the, you just, every time you look up, you decrease, your money is decreased. You're like, what the heck? Um, it could have been that energy that was sent your way, but guess what? You figured out another way. All right. But well, dang, I gotta figure something out because I can't, I can't live like this. So let me go ahead and pick up a side hustle. Let me go ahead and do this. Let me do that. Let me like, and it never brought you to the point where you're needing this person. It never brought you to the point where you're needing um, them for anything, or it didn't bring you to the point where you are without. You may have um, got into the point where you know it was kind of hard. You had your hard times where, you know, maybe you couldn't pay all your bills at once and the next bill you had to wait to the next month or something like that. Or you were able to pay all your bills, but you didn't have anything left over because you like to spend, you like to go shopping, you like to do the things that you like to do, but you weren't able to do it. So you had to figure it out. Like, I need, I need extra money. So you figured it out. And this person know that you did. And they're realizing, like, hold up, how this person not, they're not hurting. They're not hurting. Or else, or you're definitely not showing that you're hurting. I don't feel like you're hurting at all. No, not from this reading. You know, if you have, if you are, this is not your reading. But, yeah, this is a situation where someone was trying to keep you stuck. At a certain place in your life. So you can't. They don't want you to get ahead. Someone didn't want you to get ahead Capricorn. Let me get one more on the King of Pentacles. Yeah no matter how much of a struggle. No matter how much. How, how much time. That you had to put into something. Or how tiring it was. You did it. Or you're doing it. And that's all to it. Like, you had to tell yourself, no, nah, I got to do this. I can't be like this. So, you had to self-talk. And 
whoever this uh, energy is, they're coming to realization of who you are or what you're capable of. What they thought that maybe once upon a time you you need. I'm not even gonna say you needed them. You may have asked them. Because I don't want to say need. I'm just not getting that out of you. Maybe it was a point where, you know, you just, you you wanted some extra cash. You could have been in a low place, but you really didn't need them. But it was an opportunity. Why not take it so you, you ask this person? So they felt like, dang, okay, they need me. Okay. Uh-huh. I keep them here when they need me. Then I'm going to be the one in charge. Hmm. This sounds like a narcissistic person here. For some of you, this someone... Someone may look at you as the ticket as far as money-wise. Like... And they may feel like they don't want you to move on because they need your money. They feel like you you would be very given to them. Especially if you're showing up as this Queen of Cups. But what they fail to realize, the Queen of Cups and the Divine Feminine Energy, you're, you're, you're not about to play Boo Boo the Fool. You're not about to play those games. Mm-mm. -mm. You're not because you're going to see clearly. The Queen of Cups is uh, very discerning. The Queen of Cups is very intuitive. So you're going to see, you know, you're going to pick up on, on what this person is trying to do, which is use you. All right, where are we at? 17. Spirit, let's just... Let's see a message uh, for a Capricorn. 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 Karmic relationship. Fle fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. That's why I say, like, you focus on elsewhere. You not even, your back is turned towards this person, people, whatever. You focus on you. You got your back turned to, to whoever this is. Some of you, it could be a fire sign or an earth sign. Engagement ring, engagement partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. You could have been engaged or married to this person or you're going to be in a new connection. And this relationship is evolving or will be evolving to the next phase, um, healing the inner child growth. You could be getting engaged, moving on. This person sensed since this and they're triggered by it. Whoever this karmic is. Heart with the key, welcome and love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together, perfect. Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. So it start off as friends, you know, you go on dates, meet up for coffee, tea, brunch, whatever, dinner. You have a good time and then it end up evolving to the next phase. You start dating more and then you end up being exclusive and then you end up being engaged. Or this person is wanting to propose to you or... It's, this is not the person that is triggered by you. Mm. Whoever this is that's triggered by you is the karmic. Someone you already left. You left this behind. You're not with this person anymore. Anymore. Unconditional love, self-love, one is passion, affection, attraction. Focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. That's what I feel like. That's the that's how you're how you came into the divine energy, masculine or feminine. Because you started doing the self-work. Or that is what you need to do so you can come into the next level, the next phase in your life due to your love life. But someone uh else they they gotta be let go of. Dang, self-indulgence came out again. Focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. So that's what you just need to do. Not enough, frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, jealousy. 
<laughs> yeah, that's why they're saying to focus on self. All right, Capricorn, that's all I have for you at this time. I will uh, definitely see more in the uh, part two extended reading and Patreon if you want to join me over there for uh, extended readings, weekly readings, join that membership. Um, if not, until next week, many blessings.